Hello devs, Sid the IT guy here and today I want to talk about Shopify custom apps which were previously known as Shopify private apps and how to use it, when to use it, how to configure one. I will discuss that all in this video and at the end of it I will show you a Laravel based example. So if you are already cloning my GitHub repository and using it, you will see that I have designed a page that will make it very easy for you to configure one and get it up and running right away. Okay, so what is a custom app? So a custom app is an app that is created on the store merchant Shopify backend where if you are a merchant and you click on apps button, then it will open up all the apps that you have installed on the uh, store at that point. So you will see a button called develop apps. So if you click on it, then Shopify will ask you a confirmation if you want to enable custom app development. So you click yes. And after that, you would be sent to a screen where you can create one and uh, work with it. Okay, so when do we use a Shopify custom app? So there are two perspectives here, a store merchant's perspective and a software developer's perspective. So from a store merchant perspective, let's say that I have a Shopify store and I have orders, products and customers and analytics data ready to go from my store and I want to hire a developer who will use this data and create uh, something that's functional and that would help my store. So that's when I can only uh, create an, an app in my uh, Shopify backend and hand out the access token to that developer who he can use to make API calls to my store and get the data that he needs to work with. So that's one. Another uh, use case when we use custom apps is, let's say that you are a software developer who is making a public app, but it's not, but uh, you are not sure if it will work uh, well for the actual store merchant who will download it from the app store. And you know somebody who has already a Shopify store and it's up and running. So you can reach out to that store merchant and you can say that please create an app um, in the backend and hand me the access token so I can validate that my functionality that I have created in my app works well. So that is the software developer's perspective. It helps um, with testing out the functionalities that you have been creating. So how do we create one? Um, Let's uh, dive into that. Okay, so this is the Shopify uh, store backend where if you click on apps, then you will see all the apps that have been installed at that point. So if you click on app and channel, sales channel settings, you will see this button called develop apps. So if you click on it, then Shopify will ask you a confirmation. Just click yes on it. So then you can see this button called create an app right here. So. It also says develop apps with caution subject to this. You should not absolutely customize checkout. Okay, cool. So create an app and then you can just provide a name here. So let's say YouTube private app. You can put any name here, it doesn't matter. So then you can just hit create app. And there we go. So the app is created, uh, you may click install app first, but we have to first uh, configure our API scopes. So here we can click configure admin API scopes. So here you will get all the list that you can use uh, to make API calls. So I will use right customers. Um, let's say read orders. Yeah, just let's keep, let's keep these two permissions, um, not much than that. So there's a whole list of permissions down here and you can use uh, the webhook subscriptions. So webhook uh, API version can be selected. I'm going to keep it 2023.10 and uh, Google Cloud Pub Service is not needed. Amazon Event Bridge is not needed. Okay. So then you can hit save. So these two permissions are now granted uh, to my app and that store merchant can arrive to this uh, screen anytime they want and they can just add another permission. And if they hit save, then now the order edits uh, permission will be granted to the same access token. So that is uh, one thing. Let's cancel it. Okay. So now the install app button is enabled. So we will install this. You will get an access token that is limited anyway. So that was that. Um, so this access token, you have to be careful here because when you click uh, reveal token once, it will only show you the token one time and you have to grab it and make sure that you don't lose it. So the API key secret key is not needed. So you can click reveal token once. There we go. We will copy it and we will use it in Postman. 
So now we will use Postman and I will show you how to make a call and let's see if it works. So check out extensions.myshopify.com admin API 2023-10 orders JSON. So I will use headers. Content type is application JSON, obviously, and the second key would be X Shopify access token. Paste it here, and there we go. That's all we need. So the, the store version admin API. Yeah, correct. So if I hit send, there we go. So we can make the API calls straight after that. And if you want to use it in your app, you just have to make sure that you save the token. Um, don't lose this value basically this is the token that you need to save in your database in some form so let's uh, so basically if you don't have the permission to let's say if I click products JSON then obviously it will say that I don't have the permission for it the app action requires merchant approval so let's see if uh, if I add product permission right away so I will click edit Mm, where are products there we go so if I click write products and hit save yeah if I click send now there we go now I can get products data and I did not have to change the access token so this is the advantage of using custom apps you don't have to you can change the app scopes on the fly you don't have to go through the reinstallation phase or the OAuth phase. Anyway, so this is how you configure one and get it up and running. Um, there are API credentials, so it won't show me that anymore. API key and secret key are there. And app settings, you can put a description here. Um, you can put your own email here um, in case you need to tell your developer uh, that there are some updates that have to be made. And there's an uninstall app button as well. So if you click uninstall, then the access token will go invalid right away. So now if I go to Postman and I hit this, wrong unrecognized login or wrong password. This is the error message that I get. So that's it. Um, you can do it this way and make sure whatever framework that you are using to integrate that. Now let's look at an example of how I did it in a Laravel app okay and in the seeders you will see in the user seeder i created a super admin account super admin at shopify.com and uh, the password is one two three four five six if you want you can change it okay so let's look at the laravel example of it so if you are using my github repository then you will hit shopify project .test login and the credentials are super admin at shopify.com and the password is 123456 so you hit login and you arrive at this screen so after that you can click add private store here so here you can just put this thing straight so checkout extensions myshopify.com which is the myshopify.com url of your store api key and api secret key you can get it from the app settings the access token is basically what we had here. You would copy it and you would paste it here. Account email and account password. This is because you want to be able to provide a login to the user right away after you uh, submit it. So then if I put a setemp at gmail.com, password would be 12345678. And if I hit submit, then if this access token is valid, then an account will be created with these account email and password which you can use to log in and work with the app like you would for a normal public app so try it out um, let me know if you face any kind of a problem and i'll be happy to help you out and yeah that's about it thank you